Hey everybody, uh, hi, this is the Strategy Guide aficionado, Carrie here. I am really sorry, I'm just now getting to this Hyrule Warriors Legends uh, Collector's Edition. Apparently this came in while I was out of town for Easter, and then yesterday I was laying in bed dying of the stomach flu, and I'm still not totally with it today, so I apologize if I talk slow or if I don't make any sense. But anyway, I'm very excited to to have this even though yes I do already own the Hyrule Warriors strategy guide that came for the, for the Wii U um, but this is for the 3DS version and so the big thing is well why get another one if I already maybe own for, for the Wii U uh, well I guess the question is then why buy it for, for the 3DS but if you're wondering well can I just go on ahead and buy the one for for the Wii U if I have one for the 3DS. Well, that's one thing I'm going, going to be looking at to see, to see what the differences are real quick. And the first thing I'm going to do is turn off my phone because I totally forgot to do that. <sighs> Perils of being sick. Just not thinking very well. All right, so that's on silent. Okay, so let's go on ahead and tear this thing open and see what is in it. I need to actually go buy this game now. You know, with everything else, I'm still playing Twilight Princess and the fun stuff, and I know Quantum Break will be here before I know it. Okay, well, judging from the back, so this is a little flyer that always appears. There is the uh, e-guide code on the other side. But according to this, uh, it's been completely updated for the 3DS version. There's a complete walk walkthrough for both the Legends mode and the Adventure mode, which I expect, because that's what the Wii U one had. Uh, all new rewards, Great Sea, Master Quest, Twilight, and Termina maps. So there's extra content, and this was not in the Wii U. Um, so that seems to be all the only extras. So anyway, let's look in here. I'm also curious if this has some of the um, Amiibo content, because when the Wii U version came out, double check this, I'm pretty sure there was no Amiibo content for it at the time. Let's see, because Amiibo stuff's been added in, which, yeah, there is no Amiibo content in here, but the Amiibo stuff was, was added in, which if you got the collector's edition, or I think if you got any version of the guide, you would then get the, uh, let's see, here's, here's my flyer that has the uh, e-guide in it, so that should, should be updated. Probably should go, go and check that. All right, I'm not going to put that on the floor because I'm probably going to use it, but... So as you can see, totally different covers. So they're not trying to totally scam you if you're uh, into getting getting the different covers. Okay. Let's see. I wonder if it's even written by the same people. Because this says Garrett Rocha and Steve Stratton. And who was this one written by? Does it have it? Man. Look in the back. This one was just written by Garrett Rocha. So we have the same, one of the same authors. I'm sorry if I mispronounced your name. And Steve Stratton, who is pretty much the local Zelda expert at Prima Games. He pretty much has his hand in everything. So as I'm looking at this, yeah, just from the, the table of contents alone, there's a whole, whole lot more content. Um, let me see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna compare this stuff side by side. We got legend mode. Put up this table, table of contents. Again, I am. I apologize for not being too prepared. Okay. So, oh my gosh. I wish. I wonder if I have enough strength to hold these both up. So, if you can look, if you can see it, I'm doing my best here. I promise. So, ah, this is the Wii U one with the legend mode. You can see the list of. Uh, story missions there. Maybe, could you? I don't know. Let me try this again. Do it this way. There you go. See them all right here. And then here it is for the 3DS. Considerably longer. And I'm seeing plenty of names are not the same. So I am like really excited to play this. Okay, so like the Wii U version ends here. Probably shouldn't do this one. Not totally 100%. So it's right there. 
That is where it ends. And so there's all these other missions. So this is a considerably longer, longer game. And I'm really curious if some of that's been updated in DLC with, um, with the Wii U version, because I haven't played it. Let's see, it's got the warriors, the extras. This also has a behind the scenes. Although the Wii U version looks like it's not as detailed of a behind the scenes as this one. So this one has a lot of extra content. And Toby has come to join us. Hi, Toby. Yes, baby, I see you. So, and it has, of course, the adventure mode. Excuse me, Toby. Look for the adventure mode section in this one. Oh, I know it's in here because this thing is huge. Oh, there it is, the adventure mode, how it works. Chosen. I don't know how that's possible, but it actually, I need to compare the adventure modes because it looks like this one's actually very different. This adventure mode is very different compared to uh, the Wii U one. Now the adventure mode is kind of a challenging mode. It's not the story mode. It's you go into certain areas and you have to do a certain amount of things and you can make it more and more challenging depending on, on what, what settings you have. Looks so like they got these other maps that are right here. And look, here they have the amiibo. Gosh, my camera, come on, there we go, the amiibos, right there. So, I mean, this right already, this, this, this collector's edition, I mean, you can see the difference in thickness between them. And, you know, maybe it's because the Hyrule Warriors Legends has all the DLC, because uh, it's got all the amiibo information, maybe it's because it's bigger. I don't know, but it makes me want to go and see if I'm missing a whole bunch of DLC for Hyrule Warriors. I haven't checked it out. It's I've been busy doing so many other things, but I mean, if there is, I might want to look into that. Or I'll just play the 3DS version and, and then move on. Um, once again, looks like the um, adventure section is the largest section. Let's see, let's see. There's Legend. Where's Legend Mode begin? Man, lots of lots of information in this there's a companion fairy list which i don't remember having companion fairies in hyrule warriors so you got that huge list i'm really curious how useful that is because i'm also curious what that even means all right so we got legend legend mode starting there so there's legend mode and it goes all the way to yes toby i know to here and then most of that is the adventure mode because that's how comp complex the adventure mode is. It goes till about here because that's when the behind the scenes starts. So, yeah, so, and I actually could, I didn't play very much the adventure mode on the Wii U, just, I, I, I don't know, I didn't have time and it's taking my son's Wii U, so maybe I'll find a little bit more, I shouldn't say my son's, it's mine, I'll let him play it. But I may, you know, this may be better suited for the 3DS to sit down and just, you know, play a couple of challenges. Because, like I said, with the adventure mode, like, here's, here's how it runs. So you get these little sections and you have to complete these certain things and that's what you can get. And how, what you need to do to get these certain scores. Things like that. So as long... You know, whenever I do my full review and when I actually play the game, I'll be doing a side by side comparison to see the, see the differences, see the accuracy, and th things like that. Um, actually, has some really good appendices in the back. I'm already getting out of breath. Empathetic. Um, looks, what is this? Oh, so it has, okay, so. It actually has the story behind Hyrule Warriors. How it kind of comes about. Yes, Toby, I hear you. And the girl Link. So which she is not in Hyrule Warriors, at least. And then here's the, the Wind Waker version, which that was not in Hyrule Warriors, at least not in the launch version. So I'm actually excited about playing all of that. Now most of these characters were heroes. Obviously we got down here the Wind Waker version was not. Twilight Princess stuff was because I remember Midna. She was there. She was not. I think everybody else was there because I remember these people because I had no idea who they were because I've never played Skyward Sword. Yes and the Dark Forces. Yes. All of these were there. 
So those, that, that's, that's a pretty cool addition. All right, so then in the, in the back, they have all the different, different characters and what they can do. So we got Link and all that. That's kind of cool. They have different versions of a panda. So they have all the different characters so that you can get familiar with the characters and what, and what, the, what they can do. Um, let's see, what is all this? All the different enemies. Yeah. Ugh. See, what, uh, companion fairies, I'm very interested in finding more about that, what that's all about. All the concept art. I mean, it's, it's pretty darn cool. Yeah, I may if I feel better go out and buy this game today. And then, you know, we got some behind the scenes stuff from the designer. So it's a pretty good package in this all, all in all. Um, so, okay, so the collector's edition, why, sh why should I buy? Well, if you already have uh, this one, as, first of all, you can just tell the difference right there between how much more information there is in. Um, it really looks like to me that this one it was will not have a well sorry keep talking that you need this one for the 3ds version that this will not help you in the 3ds version at all of course if you already have the wii u maybe you don't want the 3ds but because i'm obsessed with this stuff i have to have both um looks like there's a whole bunch of extras in, in the back that definitely definitely makes makes this, this all worthwhile plus you know, not to mention the extra e-guide so when there is more amiibo stuff that comes out because you know that there will or that there's more dlc that might come out for the 3ds you will have all that at, at your fingertips so so far from first impressions alone this looks like a, a solid buy and i i, I would i would ha highly recommend it and before i run out of breath even further i'm going to go on ahead and close this down and hopefully in the next coming week i'll be able to get this played and reviewed and so thank you so much for tuning in for this kind of haphazard video hopefully my next one will be a little more coherent thanks again guys bye